Consider the following example. Tx is s times x, or a linear transformation, with s being the matrix 1, 2, 3, 6. So t of x is s times x. And if we write down x in coordinates, then we get x1 times the first column of s, 1, 3, plus x2 times the second column of s, 2, 6. Well, so 2, 6 is 2 times the column 1, 3, so actually what is written here is x1 plus 2x2 times 1, 3. So by varying x1 and x2, we see that the image of S, M S, equals all combinations, all linear combinations of one vector of one three. And T is varied over R. So this is basically the line through the origin with direction vector one three. Or put differently, it's spanned by the vector 1, 3. So in a picture this looks like this. So we have an xy plane and we count the point 1, 3 and the line is going to the point with coordinates 1, 3. And the direction vector points at this special point in space, 1, 3. So the image of S equals this line. So now we consider the kernel of S. Well, in order to, to determine the kernel of S, we solve again the homogeneous system of linear equations where we first put s and augment it with the zero vector. And then of course, since the second row is just a multiple of the first row, we get the following expression for the reduced row echelon form. So we see that, we may conclude that x belongs to the kernel of s when x is t times yeah if we put x2 equal as 2 then we see that x x becomes t times minus 2 1 plus some t in r so basically the kernel here is again a line through the origin but now with direction vector 2, minus 2, 1. 